Right, Plymouth's legacy from the Civil War was, like I said, a lot of people who died. There's a lot of burials in St Andrews, even Charles Church, the new church, put up, which opened during the Civil War. Plimstock, Plimpton, all the surrounding areas. And it took a long time for Plymouth's fishing industry to recover from the effects of the Civil War. Um, buildings, there wasn't a lot of damage done to the town. Outside there were, there, there were still earthworks that were visible for the next nearly 200 years before the city started to expand in that direction. If you look on the old reports, you can see the mounds of earth that were the remains of the, some of the forts that were there in the Civil War um, along the North Road, East North Road, West line. Um, like I said, they were there for 200 years. No, not many people recorded them, which was a shame um, because we don't really have a clue what these forts look like. Other forts were different. These forts were built to the contours of the land, um, but there's not a lot of uh, anything left of them at all. You can still find them in, on the map and walk around where they stood. And the seafront, some of the old towers are still there. The remains of the castle are still there. Parts of Plymouth Fort are still there. The churches are still there. Some houses still exist, but nothing much from the Civil War is here to tell us what happened during those years. Just end of it, last. I think I will take mine. Thank God and drink to peace. Good cheer. Thanks.